we are back to our normally scheduled broadcast times 11 30 a.m mondays and wednesdays mm -hmm. eastern standard time i was waiting for that so that i could share it out hopefully i'll see it over here we just finished up a a marathon guys and so during my marathons i come on five days in a row so instead of just the normal Mondays and Wednesdays, I come on five days in a row and I talk about any given topic. And I chose to talk about ways that I could support you and help you in your business and really explain those ways for this particular marathon and we just finished on yesterday. And so we completed with talking about my mastermind program, which is a year long program. And I had one of my mastermind members on explaining, you know, her experience inside the mastermind. For those of you who did not get an opportunity to see that, it is on my Facebook page. I was unable to come on uh, Periscope simultaneously with that. And then the broadcast is a little, we had some tech issues. But if you're really interested, um, you'll just kind of fast forward through some of the uncomfortable parts. And I'm having the video re-edited. So um, her portion is actually the most important part where she explains her experience and how in a seven month time frame she had done more in her business excuse me than she had done in seven years and that she had quadruple her investment already uh, through the program but it was something that she said in particular inside the uh, the interview that we did on yesterday that really stood out for me and you guys see in the title it says comparison causes procrastination that slows up progress profits and fulfillment in growing your business. I'm gonna repeat that. Comparison causes procrastination that slows up progress, profits and fulfillment in growing your business. Good morning, thank you for joining. As you're coming in guys, put your name in the comments. Let me see who's on. I can't always um, see that from my end. I was trying to see if I could see it from this other device here. Oh, that's why. Let's see, one second. And one of the things that, uh, so I interviewed Brandy Nicole, which is one of my mastermind members, and she said something profound. And I realized that what she said was the result of comparison. It was a result of comparison. So I'm really big on the comparison thing because I know that it is something that really slows people up in their business building. And I also understand that Social media is an amazing opportunity for us to bring awareness to our brands, our business, to serve and help people as well. But it can also be a trap. And many entrepreneurs fall in comparison traps where you know they're constantly changing their flow and what they're doing in their business because of what they see other people sharing on social media. And I wanted to talk about how um, comparison and it's so uh, funny because if you aren't aware that that is actually what you're doing you'll continue on in a cycle but hopefully this morning what I share with you will bring some awareness so that you can see have I been comparing myself right but one of the things that that normally happens is people begin to feel that what they have is not valuable uh, they begin to feel that you know, they need to change how they're doing things or what they're offering to uh, consumers in their business, to their clients and things of that nature. So they're consistently switching lanes. But here's the statement that Brandy made during uh, our interview time that really hit home for me and made me want to come on and, and share. So she said, there's a false mentality in the marketplace, right? There's a false mentality in the marketplace that promotes an illusion in the marketplace of entrepreneurship and it places in the marketplace and it puts it has people putting an image out into the marketplace that isn't norm necessarily uh, a true image of entrepreneurship and when I heard her saying that I said man that really comes from comparison and so when we are switching lanes in our business, we're not feeling worthy in our business, oftentimes there's some, some comparison going on. So maybe you see someone 
who does something similar to you. Maybe they're a photographer or they're a personal stylist, they're a coach or um, they're a, a, a hairstylist, salon owner, makeup artist, someone in your same industry. And you know maybe the way it appears that they are moving will cause you to start doubting whatever it is you were gonna do in the marketplace or how you're doing what you're doing. And so what happens is we begin to procrastinate on our own gifts and our own dreams, those things that were really already on the inside of us because we're comparing ourselves to other people. Um, and when she said a false mentality in the marketplace that promotes an illusion, I'm not saying that everyone on the marketplace is an illusion, far from it, because I think there are some amazing brands and businesses that are truly authentic and really uh, building great businesses and great cultures and their leadership is on point. But I do notice that there is an illusion of people running a business that is false on, on the internet and on social media. And I feel that there are a lot of people following other people who aren't, don't even have um, a, a steady business model themselves or um, aren't profiting in, in their business as well. And so if we continue to follow people who aren't authentic, um, they aren't leading with substance, then we are really just picking up pieces from an illusion. And I think that we've been uh, so trapped into applauding medi mediocrity. I know this broadcast is probably a little heavy. I believe we've been trapped into applauding mediocrity to the point where when value steps up in the marketplace or stands up in the marketplace, um, we don't value it because we've gotten so accustomed to you know cheering on uh, mediocrity. Mm -hmm. And I really want to speak to that on today and talk about um, how comparison causes us to procrastinate. So if you are constantly comparing your journey or your time, good morning, Shia, how are you, dear, to someone else's, then normally you're thinking about all the things that aren't going right in your in your business or your life, whatever area you may be comparing, because sometimes we are comparing other people's uh, relationships even. But I want to share the three things and um, I had, I didn't even, I don't even have that over here. So let's see if I can go by memory of what I wrote down uh, that you can do in order to remove yourself from comparison. So one of the things I do with my clients is I help them with brand clarity. And I use a unique system and I say it's unique, it's not like anyone else's because I created it. Um, I created it by observing people. Even as a stylist in the industry, I always watch people. I always look for an opportunity to provide an answer for them. Now at this time, I had no idea that consulting or coaching was you know, up the road for me. It was just a natural um, passion or desire or skill set even that, that I had. So in my process of observing people and developing strategies or systems for them to get unstuck or change or grow in their situation, I began creating these systems before I, I really knew it was brand clarity because I didn't know the word um, branding at that time. So I've been branding uh, long before I owned a service-based business, a full service salon and day spa for 10 years prior to uh, consulting full-time for other service-based business owners. And I was branding uh, before I even understood what it was. But most people don't have brand clarity. And that is why they're switching lanes. That is why they're comparing themselves to other people. So one of the things that my uh, mastermind member, Brandy, that was on the other day said, she had gotten more done in seven months than she had gotten done in seven years in her business. And it's because of that brand clarity system. It's because she is no longer comparing her business or her brand to anyone else because it is unique. And each and every one of you have a unique gift. Um, one of my gifts is to be able to recognize the gifts in others and to recognize uh, expansion and bigger visions for them and allow them to shift their mindset and be able to actually walk it out. Because I just, and this is something that occurred for me personally, um, I just decided I didn't want to do mediocre anymore. 
there were times in my career years ago when what I thought was success really wasn't success, but it was because I was comparing it to the people that were immediately around me. I hadn't been exposed to newer levels or greater levels of success. And so I kind of thought I was doing okay. And so the first way to get out of the whole comparison thing, and listen, you're gonna save time, you're gonna save money, you're gonna save resources, you're gonna save effort when you move out of that, that lane because you're gonna be so zoned in to the clarity that you've established for your vision, your brand, and your life until you, you won't even pay attention to it. And people say all the time they're not paying attention to other people, but most of them are, you know? Um, I'm talking about really getting focused and really, you know, putting in the paint and getting things done in your own business. So one of the first ways to stop comparing is to really decide what success looks like to you. Many people haven't determined what success looks like to them. So when they see what they perceive as the su success of others, they're always comparing. But when you're clear on what success looks like to you, there is no comparison. Um, you will also find that you will have a more clear picture of people who really inspire you in your business because I believe we all need coaches, mentors, and people who bring inspiration into our lives. But leaders, uh, you know, the, the leader or coach that you're looking for should not be looking to necessarily um, keep you as a follower they should be in a position where they're wanting you to lead as well. They're giving you the strategies and systems to be out, to be able to go and do your own unique thing um, in the marketplace. And so the first way to stop comparing yourself to others or your brand, switching lanes, changing you know, what you're going to market, your ideas, things of that nature, is to really figure out what success look like for you, looks like for you. When I realized that I was creating a, a life uh, based on somebody else's vision, and it wasn't other entrepreneurs. It was actually people, you know, in my immediate circle that I, I was close to who played an active role in my life. And I realized I was like, this isn't even, you know, my vision. I dumbed down on my vision because of, you know, the opinions and thoughts of of others. And so I realized I wasn't even creating. A business nor a life that I really love and I had to clearly decide what success looks like to me now many of you may be married or um, really respect the opinions of family members and I think it's important that we have um, people in our lives that we're willing to make compromises for but I just don't believe that people um, who are in your life are there to design your life it's completely different and most of us if you're anything like me you kind of figure out who you are after you've done some of the other stuff and um, my goal with my daughter is really to make sure that she seeks to understand who she is because it will dictate everything so um, I truly believe who you marry and who you have children with is is huge it's big and those decisions when you know who, who you are and you're clear about your purpose and your assignment in the world and in the marketplace, we choose friends differently, we choose relationships differently, we choose business opportunities differently, and we definitely choose what we do <clears throat> with our time, our money, and our resources differently when we have a clear picture of what success looks like to us. And then we move outside of the phase of comparison. And, and how comparison makes you procrastinate is because you really have this thing on the inside of you that you know you desire to do or you feel called or led to do, but you procrastinate on that because you see all of these other examples that may not even be your true idea of success. So the first way to move out of comparison is to really decide what success looks like to you. And then don't dumb down on it. Don't back down on it because it may seem like something that's way too big for you. Our goal is to figure out the what to get clarity and then trust that the how is going to come as we take the next step. So you're, uh, have you all heard the phrase that says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And so when you step into that next step or that next phase or that next move, if you're clear on what it is that you desire, you will be able to recognize your mentor. You'll be able to recognize your coach. They will speak to your heart. 
they will speak truth you will want to hear what they're talking about and you will have a, a respect for how they're building and creating their own life you're going to hear and it's going to be certainty and that's part of the how for whatever your big vision is and so just getting clear on what it is not necessarily how you're going to do it is number one number two to move outside of comparison is uh, one of the things to do is to begin to focus on your strengths focus on your strengths if you're focusing on your strengths and mastering them and becoming even better at those things you're less likely to focus on what other people are doing your because your goal becomes you know it's really important for me to get really really great at this thing that I'm good at because it's going to differentiate me in the marketplace right this is my thing um, that's going to cause me to stand out without a lot of effort because I'm actually putting the effort on the the personal growth aspect of it so uh, moving out of comparison focusing on your strength your strength is personal growth it's personal development all of those are personal development. I was listening to uh, the interview that I did on yesterday with my mastermind member, and I asked her what did she feel the importance of mindset and personal growth that I teach inside the mastermind was to her her business. And she said that was like the number one thing. And she said something that I say all the time, no matter how many strategies and systems you have, if your mindset does not align, if your personal growth doesn't align, um, you can maybe build a business, but sustaining it is two different things. Personal growth is um, part of our character, how we show up, how we do things. I uh, have a blog post coming out for this week, and I talked about why I choose to go to my favorite stores, which may be a little more expensive than some other stores. And I gave some examples of some incidents that happened to me last week as I was preparing to go to my daughter's graduation. I, I needed to get a few items and then I wanted to get some cash back at the grocery store counter instead of riding over town to, um, to my bank. And I, so in that blog post, I talk about the experiences I had because I didn't go to my favorite stores. I just stopped to some small places before I hit the highway uh, to head back home. And I was disappointed and I said, this is why I go to my favorite stores. This is why I don't pay mind paying a little more for the service because of the experience that I get. And that experience, that customer service, all of it is part of personal development and personal growth. And I, it, it's not about not being authentic because a lot of people think that, you know, if you're super professional, you're not authentic. But no, you're focused on providing the best experience for the customer, right? I think that's um, as authentic as it can get if you're an entrepreneur and you're wanting to build an amazing business and have great profits and be fulfilled in what it is um, that you're doing. And so I, I did write the other item down. It dropped from my memory, uh, but I know the first one was to uh, really get clear on what your idea of success is and number two to really really hone in and focus on what your strengths are and now the third one has come to me right and the third thing that will help you to move out of comparison is to find one thing that you've been promising yourself that you were going to finish that you were going to complete and that you were going to do and do it get it done because there is an emotion uh, there's a feeling and there are habits being developed from you finishing. And so many people lack confidence, which is why they're constantly comparing. But confidence comes from you taking action and getting results. So pick one of those things. Uh, I'm huge on productivity. Um, it's actually a, a system that I use to help my clients gain more time freedom in their life. And so many people think that if you work off of a routine or a schedule, Hey, Sharonda, how are you, dear? If you work off of a routine or a schedule, your life is boring, um, it's too stiff or structured. But guys, I have more time uh, available than I have ever had. Give you guys an example. So I'm just getting back from um, parent orientation for summer camp for my daughter. Now, someone shared the opportunity for the camp with me at the last minute. <clears throat> 
I was going to, my daughter's going to take a piano this summer. Uh, she's in another program that meets twice uh, a week. And then um, I'm enrolling her in a summer dance program. So I was like, she's busy enough. But this opportunity was so great, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. So I, I wasn't aware that there was a parent orientation this morning. But I've set my time up. I have the time, freedom, and flexibility while I'm still earning revenue to be able to allow things like that to happen. I used to, for those of you who follow me, I used to come on my broadcast like 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. But I realized that didn't allow me any room from the time that I dropped my daughter off or anything of that nature. So my day really starts around 10, 10.30 um, every morning outside of, you know, me getting up and doing my prayer and, you know, um, saying my affirmations, things of that nature. My physical day working on or in my business really starts around the 10, 10.30 hours. So I had the time freedom to be able to do that. Another thing with her camp, we have a schedule and every Friday they're going to go on a field trip. So I don't work in my business at all on Fridays. Um, I've dedicate, dedicated Fridays to working on my business. So I will spend time doing some things to work on my business, but because I'm not dedicated to a client, I don't coach or anything on Fridays, um, that flexibility is there and I can move and shift things around. Uh, this last Friday, I went to my cousin's graduation, which means the things that I had on my list were just kind of moved over a little bit. But I have a system and a structure and I have more time freedom than I've ever had. And so growing personally is also being able to assess what you have going on in your life so that you can shift and move things around so that you can actually have more time freedom. And I'm going to be deep diving into an amazing concept that I can't wait to share at my strategic leadership growth retreat um, that's really going to change some lives. I'm excited about it. Um, they're going to have more time freedom if they implement those, those strategies. And they're definitely going to have a huge amount of clarity. And clarity is the mother of um, prosperity to me. I think when we're clear um, on what who we are as a brand, one, as far as entrepreneurs and business owners, everything else just starts to, to lighten up. You know, we, we gain focus. I know in one of my courses, I taught my clients um, about niching out and I've seen them doing that and, and they're not focused on 50 different things when they take classes They take classes that relate to their niche, right? They get better at those things instead of trying to do 50 um, Different things and so for those of you who are looking to grow your time freedom and your profits get really really clear on who you are as a brand and possibly you know, if you're honest, move outside of the space of comparison so that you can speed up your progress, progress, your profits, and your fulfillment in growing your business. Join us at the Strategic Leadership Growth Retreat. It's August the 3rd through the 5th. Um, time is winding down. So if you've been like sitting on a fence, handle your business. Leaders take action, right? Leaders aren't slow about taking actions. Um, and making decisions. Make your decisions today. Join us www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com. <clears throat> there is a place to register on that page. You'll answer a few questions and then you'll get a link to um, make your payment either in full, $9.97 for the two day, $12.97 for the three day, and there are installment options. The amount of time that is extended out or the amount of payments is slowing up so i am removing some of the extended time that you'll have to pay um but look join us guys if this is something that you know you need in your life and your business and you're ready to be in the room with other highly driven women entrepreneurs who really want to create a legacy for themselves and their family they want to spend time with their family they want to have amazing amounts of self-care while they're profiting, while they're growing um, into their financial freedom, join us. It's in Asheville, North Carolina. And for those of you who are watching from the Atlanta area, it's only about three hours, three hours and a half um, from you. So one of the attendees is from Atlanta. She said, oh, it's only a few hours away. I can hop in the car. So you guys will be surprised in the distance of where it is or 
you can do like some others who are coming hop on the plane come and get your life it will be the beginning of the last quarter of the year your last quarter will shift and change if you implement and your 2020 will be amazing you guys have a super amazing day remember get out of comparison right if it actually causes procrastination that slows up your progress your profits and your fulfillment in growing your business